first thing that you should do when you get a zit is to just not panic. It's totally normal to get zits. Everybody gets them. Um, and so really what you need to do is to just go on as normal. Just continue your normal skincare regimen of exfoliation and then you want to do your serums and then you want to do your gentle cleanser so it's really important at this time to just kind of consider that your skin needs a little bit of extra care and that means just being extra gentle with it and I would say absolutely don't try and extract it because if you're poking and prodding at your skin you're gonna do physical damage that will make recovery from pimples that much harder you're gonna be more likely to get more pimples in the future and by picking and poking at your skin, you're just accelerating the aging process by doing physical damage to your skin that may never heal. So just continue on with your normal skincare regimen and the pimple should go away in a few days and you'll be all set. The UVR serum addresses three crucial parts of skin aging, which are hydration, inflammation, and daily UV damage. So the most important that I believe is the daily accumulation of damage from ultraviolet rays. Addressing ultraviolet rays that our skin absorbs every day is huge when it comes to aging because all aging is at the end of the day is just an accumulation of damage. And so a day out in the sun is not going to translate into aged skin. But over many, many years, you do see the accumulation of damage in the form of aging from the daily sun exposure. Now UVR is not a sunscreen, but it goes, it addresses things kind of before that because what it because what it does is it actually cleans up and reverses a lot of the daily accumulation of damage that happens in your cells. And then the other things that it does is it um, delivers hydration into the skin because the skin becomes a bit thirsty from the number nine. And the UVR is your first hydration step that allows the skin to become truly hydrated. And then from the extracts that I use in there, it also has a very strong anti-inflammatory effect, which reduces redness and it also prevents aging caused by inflammation. I don't think so. This sort of measure seems like kind of a gimmick to me. I don't think there's anything in aging that can be reversed by a frequency. Um, but what does happen is that the technique itself requires usually a lot of heat. And the heat that you have to use for these methods is actually damaging to the skin because it causes dryness, it causes broken capillaries, and that can actually cause aging. So instead of taking a gamble on a gimmick, just stick with the tried and true skincare regimen. For this, I would say any amount of time is too long because you should never be using antibiotics on acne and you really shouldn't be using retinols. And the reason for that is because acne is caused by an improper microbiome microbiome in the skin. So if your skin has had its pH raised because of using a bad cleanser, that means that the bacteria on your skin can no longer fight against foreign pathogens like other bacteria and then you get acne. The problem is, is that when you use antibiotics, it kills off your beneficial bacteria in addition to the bad bacteria, and you never solve the issue of the skin problem in the first place. So when you go off the antibiotics, your acne is going to come back and it's going to come back strong. And now you have to fight even harder to solve the bacterial issue because now you have foreign pathogens in your skin and you have no beneficial bacteria left. So what you have to do now is you have to start all over with your alpha, beta, and polyhydroxy acids in a liquid with the liquid exfoliant. And then with retinols, it does a lot of permanent damage to the skin because it causes a reorganization of the skin cell epithelium. So that actually breaks down collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, and leaves really thin skin. In addition to a lot of problems that can't easily be solved, um, such as brittle skin and chronic dryness. So it's really best to not take these harsh methods um, to solve your acne problem and to just use a gentle skincare regimen. And I do believe that the tried and true acne regimen for skin to have long-term lasting results is with your liquid exfoliant, like the number nine, your anti-inflammatory serums, your hydration serums, and a gentle cleanser. Penetration enhancers such as essential oils definitely do break down the skin because in order for them to work, they have to break the skin down. They can't work any other way. So they break down the skin by breaking down the plasma membrane of the skin cell. And and 
then the broken skin is opened up to allow the ingredients to penetrate. Now this is okay for example, if you need a medication that can only be delivered dermally and it's short term, but for skincare, it's really dangerous to do it this way. And one thing that they don't um, tell you about the dangers of penetration enhancers is that it'll grab all the contaminants in the environment and on your skin and then deliver it directly into your bloodstream, which can be a serious health issue if you do it too much. Even one time if you are in a particularly polluted environment. This is one reason why we don't use DMSO anymore because it did grab pollutants from the environment and it did deliver it into people's bloodstreams and it was causing a lot of people to get really sick. This is a really good question because a lot of people think that the concentration of acids in a formula for skincare is what matters most, but it actually doesn't matter all that much. What really matters, what's the most important, is the pH of the product. And the reason why the pH matters is because that is the action of the product. That is how the acids are working, the amount of free acids that are available to actually act on your skin. So for example, let's say you have a formula and it's and it's 99% lactic acid, for example. And then you add a very strong base, such as lye. And then you'll add 1% lye to that formula and it neutralizes the lactic acid completely. So you now, now you now have a pH of seven, which is neutral, just like water. So it doesn't really matter that this product that you have is 99% lactic acid. It's not acidic at all. It's got the same acidity as water. What matters is the pH. So if you have really red skin, I would say that what really matters is to have an AHA that's effective. So it's sitting at around a pH of 2.8 to maybe 3.1, but you're going to want to dilute it. And you're going to want to keep diluting it as long as your skin um, is still red. And then over weeks or months, your skin is going to take to it a lot more effectively and then you don't have to dilute it as much and then you can get the full effect of that of pH. This is another skincare method that I'm not a fan of. This involves the physical removal of your skin cells for the purpose of exfoliation. But unlike chemical exfoliation, which is very exact, this is very sloppy and just is involving you scraping your skin with, with a blade for exfoliation purposes. So I would not say that this is safe. It is not okay. You're gonna put yourself at risk for micro lacerations, cuts, scar formation, you can do some permanent damage to your skin. And the only thing that I do believe is okay for exfoliation for anti-aging purposes is AHA and PHA, BHA, chemical exfoliation, because it's very exact and you're not gonna do this kind of damage to your face. Well, this is what I'm happy to talk about. I make everything here in Umir Labs. Um, for example, one of the ingredients that I make here myself is the broccoli sprout extract. So I go to local areas and I actually pick up broccoli sprouts that are grown here in California. And then I do an extraction process, which includes um, liquid extraction. Uh, it's completely alcohol free. So I use water and glycerin and I let it sit for about a month because I found that that's really the good spot to over that time the extract gets nice and potent all of the beneficial components such as sulforaphanes get extracted out and it just translates to beautiful skin and that's one reason why the UVR and the bioluminal work so well is because the extract the extracts are not only really potent but I use them in such a high concentration the other that I make here is the green tea extract I make the grapeseed extract here ginseng extract everything here is pretty much made in house from the extracts Obviously the oils, the oils aren't something we can make here. We would need a major oil press for that, but I get them from pretty, some pretty cool places like Africa and the grapeseed um, oil comes here in California because some of the best grapes are found here. But a lot of care and time goes into every ingredient that we have and we use it in the highest concentrations that you're gonna find in skincare. So it's not like a little drop in an ocean of product. It's really concentrated in there. And so one of the things that's also to keep in mind with the is that because they're potent, sometimes your skin needs a little bit of an adjusting period because most people's skin is used to just really water and skincare. Um, if you've ever seen a commercial product out there, their extracts are a drop in the ocean of filler, um, solvents, 
chemical preservatives and all of that. So when you actually have some true potent natural skincare, sometimes your skin needs a little bit of an adjustment period, but the true results are seen with time and at least gorgeous. This one is actually a really good question and a question that I've seen a lot recently. A lot of people get these little skin mites around their eyes. And it seems to be that the gold standard of treatment, unfortunately, is essential oils, which I don't like that method very much because I don't like essential oils for how damaging and destructive they are to the skin. To use essential oils in this way, it almost seems like spending a dollar to save 40 cents. You're doing more damage in the long term and not and not actually solving the true reason for the mites. And I believe that the mites might be there is because your skin doesn't have a proper way to defend against a foreign invader such as this. It's sort of like the acne problem. So what you need to do is you need to create a really strong skin environment. And I believe that you can do that with the number nine followed up with the serum. So be very careful to not get number nine in your eye. You can take a little bit and just apply it around the problem areas. Again, be very Again, be very careful to not get it in your eye because it will sting, but you can put it around the eye and you can even dilute it if you feel that it is too much. But over time, it will create a very strong microbiome in your skin and it will create acidity that the mites won't be favorable to. So give this a try. Just keep your skin as strong and healthy as possible. And I do recommend avoiding essential oils because it really just doesn't solve the underlying issue. It's really more of a band-aid over the problem. Thank you everyone for writing in your skincare biologist questions and I'm sorry that I couldn't get to everyone's questions today but if you really like this sort of video response to questions uh, leave a comment to let me know and then hopefully we can do another one soon. Bye now from Amir.